Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your man Milkman Music coming to you from the Beat Camera Studio. I uh, just thought I'd drop a real quick video. I was uh, going through a couple of my feeds on Instagram and looking at some of the uploads from YouTube and noticed that a lot of people are still asking the question as far as how do you edit uh, videos, how do you screen record, and a lot of times the answer is simple rather than most of the time it's really based off of what are you working with um, if you're working with a slower computer um, I'm not too familiar with Macs uh, let's start there uh, I've pretty much been a PC guy my entire life I mean my entire life the entire time I've been using computers uh, Mac I believe straight out the box it has the iMovie it has a lot of natural features built in to the system that really makes it a lot easier accessible and windows had versions of like a movie editor um, um, what is it movie maker and recently now windows 10 you have the movie editor that comes in it that you know they consider it as hidden but i noticed that when i use the cam studio i mean the cam studio when I use the screen record, the OBS, it pretty much records it in the, uh, where is it? Uh, I'll put, so I can't go into it while I'm recording, but this will drop down in advance and it show that it was, that it's recording in MKV or here it is right here. So MKV mode, uh, that is a format that cannot be read by the, uh, video editor it comes with Windows 10 so with the newer version of Windows versus the older version it really depends on what you're working with if you have the older version say XP uh, to Windows 8 well I think Windows 8 really started I think they got rid of the movie maker in Windows 8 but any older version than 10 the movie maker is your best bet and to try to find a converter or um, a screen record there are free ones um, ice cream I think I had a couple of other ones that are with the CNET uh, download website I found some online some of them are uh, free like uh, not trial but they're limited to what they can do shortcut is one of them I know Matter of fact, I have shortcut here and let's see to edit this video that I was about to edit. I think I might use shortcut, but I just came across uh, Filmora and I'm going to give this a try. I thought I might drop a video just to give uh, an insight on it. Uh, I just downloaded it. I'm going to go ahead and run it and get it going in the meantime while it's going. Let's see, let me say custom. Okay. So, and I, I ran across this for years because I still had Windows 7. And Window, Windows 8 was kind of buggy to me. So I still end up going back to Windows 7. And that left me very limited in what I can do based off of the strength of my computer. So my computer then was only maybe 2.0. One five or 2.20 gigahertz in processor speed it had the lowest grade the AMD I think it was the 350 and it was only three gigabytes of uh, memory uh, and it was I think it was supposed to have been 400 or 500 uh, gigabyte drive but it was probably like fresh after it finished setting up it was like 280 gigabytes so that was a slow computer if you've dealt with anything and I had it up until about a month ago uh, when it finally just said I'm done <laughs> and it really a lot of things that I've done and that I was able to do I did it between that and an even slower laptop so there are workarounds there is a way to get the result that you want it just takes a lot longer 
And because this is, you know, the time of needing it now and your ideas are coming so fast and, you know, it's just human nature that we click on a video or click on someone given their um, their critique on a content or a product. And we're like, man, I wish I can have that. I wish I can use that. And then you try to go forward with a slow computer and it's just it's frustrating. It really is frustrating. And I've sat on a lot of things and avoided doing uh, a lot of uh, creative content because of that. Uh, it's not an excuse, but I understand. Like if anything about today, like this video right now is that I do understand. Um, I also understand that you get what you pay for and you have to be willing to pay the price for something that deems worthy of time, effort, and ability. Uh, so that computer that I had, it was a desktop. It was probably made in 2003 or 2004. And I think we didn't get it until 2005. And it went all the way up until 2018, 2019. I, when I got the laptop, I shut it down. I thought that was it. But the laptop wasn't no faster. And I think it was a, I think it was a, um, I think it was refurbished, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but either way, once you get a newer computer, you can use the, I've used the um, Windows video editor on Windows 10. And it is, it is pretty good. I mean, coming from what once was, I can, especially if someone is still rocking Vista. <laughs> and coming from that or Windows MS, this is like 10 times even better. And even if I do like Femora, I support a graphics card or driver, please quit Femora, update graphics driver, latest version, and then launch how to update graphics driver. Or if you choose, continue experience poor performance and stability. Okay. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to continue. I'll look into that later, but yeah, uh, this I'm gonna give a try. Uh, like I said, I have shortcut down here. I have a couple of other programs that I was using. I took off of here. And me, drop timeline. That's a type project. Yeah, yeah. My video transitions. And I think that's what I want to do, be able to add a let's see, we pull up. Okay, everybody got plugged. I was gonna close it. So this was the last video I did. You might see this video before. Uh, this or you might see the resolution for our just match the current project settings. Do you wish to change parts to the match? Match. Okay. Files and was downloading everything. Don't tell my wife. These are the reasons why I like studio one okay and this is so immediately right off the back i just sat down i have to make a couple of runs this morning and i was going to try to edit the video just throw and here's my thing and i might as well say it now excuse me unless i do a video later i'm really trying not to edit in the sense of cut out what was said or what was done what? document my process something that I've been longing to do for the longest and something that I think it is important because as, as advanced as things are, as further we go into the future and there's more information that's available and it's out there, there are still people that come into the mix that are um, lacking the information that it is out there, but they just it's just not accessible. It's probably covered in clickbait. It's probably covered in long wording. It's probably not directly to their situation. So I will try to not edit everything down, you know, unless 
I'm doing something particular. The most editing I probably do is maybe arrows pointing or you know zooming in to specific points in the video. Uh, but right off the bat, this what I was going to do was just trim it down. Uh, I believe it was long and wordy, <laughs> like this one. I'm trying not to make it long and wordy. Uh, but with that, we know this that you have this video. No, this project no. Uh, yeah, Femora. Also, let's see. If you if you Google search anything and concerns with uh, video editing. My issue was that I used the OBS and it recorded in MK, uh, MKV mode. And I think I'm pretty much recording in 3D. Um, a lot of the graphics uh, issues that probably popped up is because I'm using voice meter and OBS together. Plus pulling up the program so it just probably got confused or conflicted. It's just ones and zeros. Uh, either way you can find a workaround uh i know you can i found so many um but like i said it just comes down to your resources it comes down to what are the limitations of your gear and when you find a way to make what you have work then the newer stuff will be not only a lot easier but you will you know treat it a lot differently you'll utilize it as a tool rather than a one button push all you know um, but that was just something real quick I just wanted to dive into didn't want to make this long just uh, go over to the website download film more give it a try I'm gonna give it a try and maybe in a later video I give a critique about it and just see if it actually stood up to the test of whatever I threw at it other than that it's mailman music Thanks for checking out the Beat Canvas Studio. Remember to be kind, be loving, be patient, be creative, and always, 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 always be yourself. Peace. Hey guys, be sure if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like this, share it. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button.